In this presentation, we're going to see a program which reverses a linked list. So this program can have a little bit of logical complication, like in the case of linked list sorting. This is typical when it comes to self-referencing data structures and algorithms based on that. As I mentioned in the case of linked list sorting, have a look at the logic or the algorithm before looking at the code. Use debugger to understand the flow. Keep looking at the value of each variables in each iteration. So try to use small number of nodes and run the loop. Most important thing is getting used to this kind of code which has this amount of complication. So in some cases the algorithm or the logic is not available to us. All we have is some code which we need to understand. There won't be any documentation sometimes. There won't be any comments inside the code. All we can do is debug and understand it. So that's what we're going to do here. We are not going to look into any pictorial representation like we had done before. So in this case what we are going to do is we are straight away going to look at the code and debug it without looking at the logic. So we are assuming that we don't know how linked list reversal is done before looking at the code. So this is a function which our reverse a linked list reverse list three temporary variables we have two are initialized and this is the main logic pretty much it's four lines of code so if you remove this three lines first two lines and the last one line you can see that temp1 equal to temp1 dot link which is just a traversing statement so this is pretty straightforward this particular line is just for traversal. So we are doing it till the null or the end of the list. So if you look at these two assignments, you can see that temp3 equal to temp2, temp2 equal to temp1. What we are doing is we are saving temp2 and temp1 or two nodes. into temporary variables. Also we are saving temp1.link to temp1. So it's again the traversing statement as we discussed before. So temp1 is in temp2 and temp2 is in temp3. So what we can understand from this three statement. So if you carefully look at this three statement we can understand that temp3, temp2 and temp1 are three nodes consecutive to each other and temp1 is in the friend. Suppose this particular line is not there. All what is going to happen is temp1 is going to have the current node temp2 going to have the previous node and temp3 is going to have previous to previous node. So that is what is happening here. And the line which does the actual reversal is this temp2.link equal to temp3. So what that means? After the execution of this particular line temp2.link will be pointing to temp1. So we are reversing that here. temp2.link equal to temp3. So we are pointing it back to temp3. So after running this loop the final result will be in temp2 and we are assigning it back to the list head here. So now let's have a run through this. I'm going to put a breakpoint here. So, as in the case of the previous programs, we have this many elements in this order in the list. We are going to display it first and we are going to reverse it and we are going to display it again. 
So I will remove this breakpoint and I will run this program once to see the output. So this is the output of the program 10, 90, 30, 20, 135. After reversing, we are printing it again. I'm putting a breakpoint here and I'm going to restart the execution. So I got a breakpoint here, temp3 is containing junk value now because it is not initialized here and temp2 is containing null which we have initialized here and temp1 equal to mileage head temp1 is we are using for traversal so temp3 equal to temp2 so I have executed that statement now temp3 equal to null now temp2 equal to temp1 so temp1 is currently pointing to mileage head so temp2 became mileage head so we can see that all the data is there in the given order now we are traversing to the next node so nothing happened so far no change so far now what we are doing temp2.link so currently temp2.link is pointing to second node in this case this particular link 0x00495 B98 that's what it's pointing now which is a second node because temp2 is pointing to mileage head now so what we are changing it to we are changing it to temp3 which is supposed to be the previous node of temp2 in this case it is null temp3 is null so now temp2 dot link became null it contains 10 temp2 contains 10 and link is null now let's go to the next iteration now temp2 is at the moment 10 and temp3 equal to null we are going to assign it back so now temp3 became 10 and null which was temp2 before and we are going to assign temp2 equal to temp1 what is temp1 contains? temp1 contains the rest of the linked list starting from the second node or the node next to the head node because we have run the loop once so it starts from 90, 130, 120, 135 so one node is not available which is a first node we are assigning it to temp2 and we are jumping ahead one node so temp1 will now contain rest of the list starting from 130 we skipped 90 here now again we are repeating temp2.link equal to temp3 so temp2.link currently where it is pointing to before this execution of this line it is pointing to temp1 so let's see that temp2 dot link it is 0x 0 00495b e0 it is 0x 0 00495b e0 so temp2 dot link is currently pointing to temp1 because temp2 is just the previous node of temp1 so if you look at uh, temp3, temp2 and temp1 you can see that temp3 is 10 at the moment 
temp 2 is 90 and temp 1 is 130 so that is the way we have ended so they are consecutive nodes nodes next to each other now we are reversing it here we are just reversing the link of temp2 temp2.link we are reversing it to temp3 currently it is pointing to temp1 now if you look at temp2 you can see a partially reversed list temp2 is now pointing to 90 and 10 and 10 has null as its link so temp2 is in the reverse order of this 90 then 10 so I am uh, not going through all the loops so if you further look into temp2 you can see that it is having the reverse list so this is a reverse list now if you look at the my list shared it has only one node it is not a valid pointer anymore so but temp2 is a reversed list so we are assigning it to my list shared now let's go back to our slides so we have seen this demo we have seen the code for reversing a link list we have gone to the code and we understood how a reversing logic is working with the help of code and debugger instead of going into the logic so this demonstrate a reversing of the link list as well as how to look into the logic from code if you don't know the logic of the code or any documentation for the logic for the code beforehand thank you very much